wicked old man metal is here. I was just stocking up for the upcoming months because you never know what's going to happen with this economy. So I want to be prepared. You know what they say? Drink when times are good, drink when times are bad. Old Man Metal says, just drink and have a good time. So speaking of time, it's time for news. One of Iraq's first heavy metal bands, and probably the only heavy metal band to come out of Iraq, has reunited after fleeing Iraq two years ago as refugees. While trying to break out with some heavy metal music in Iraq, they received numerous death threats. I guess from the people over there, they got death threats. Saddam Hussein was still in power, he would have chopped off your freaking hand for playing heavy metal. So after fleeing Iraq, where did they finally end up? Good old Elizabeth, New Jersey. They all got together after the show that Old Man Metal went to see at the Prudential Center and were greeted by their idols Metallica. I've been in this country my whole life and I love America, but I never got the chance to meet Metallica. Now the band's name is Arakakasakuda or something like that. I don't know, they're from Iraq. They did have one thing to say. They said, we haven't won any awards for our music, but we have won our freedom. How can you beat that? That kicks ass. Now Old Man Metal heard that after the show, instead of the drummer throwing drumsticks out into the crowd, he throws live hand grenades. So be careful if you go see him. Now, listen kids, Old Man Metal had quite a show for you last week. He put together a hell of a freaking show. But... It was over YouTube's 10 minute limit, so he had to cut it back. Now, I had an email segment that I'd like to show you right now, so here it is from last week. Hey, old man metal, I was wondering if you think tattoos are metal or not. Now that's a great question. Are tattoos metal or not? To say that tattoos are metal, or not metal, is to say that Guitars are metal or not metal. You can play guitar and be into classical or be uh, into country and western, God forbid. Or you can be into metal. You can have tattoos all over your body and not have anything to do with metal. So to answer your question, Austin, uh, I do not think tattoos are metal. I think the music speaks for itself and whether it's metal or not is in the music. Now that question comes from a kid on YouTube who calls himself Guitar Playing Austin. And he sent Old Man Metal a few videos of himself playing guitar. The kid's 12 years old. Now I'm gonna let the guitar work and the kid speak for itself. Check it out. <laughs> Is this kid awesome or what? 12 years old, he's playing like that? He's kicking old man metal's ass. I can't even play that good. If you want to check out what this kid can do on the guitar, his shred work, then you can go to his YouTube channel, which is right here, and check it out. That kid can play some freaking guitar, can he? I'll tell you, give him a couple of years. Now, old man metal has gotten a few emails from a few people out there regarding his mouth. And now listen. You kids have watched the show, and you know I'm not R-rated, and it's by choice. It's just the way that Old Man Metal wants to do his show. There's tons of crap on YouTube. If you want to go see some other filthy mouth bastard, go check him out. But I've gotten a few emails regarding my use of the word F-A-G. All right, fags. This is Old Man Metal's show. He'll say what he wants, when he wants, how he wants, to whom he wants, and he won't say whatever he doesn't want to say. Now, if you're still with me, and I know you still are, last episode, Old Man Metal told you kids about a band called Nightwish. Uh, that Chick Taj was in the Hot Chicks of Metal. I've received a few emails from a few of you very faithful viewers that said, Old Man Metal, ha ha, we got gotcha. you. Back in episode 102, when you went to see Epica and Overkill, you said that keyboards were on stage, and that was one thing you didn't like. How true, how true. And Old Man Metal didn't like it, because he was there to see a thrash show. 
Overkill is headlining. The band that opened up before Epica was like a death metal band who were freaking kick ass, let me tell you. It didn't seem right to throw them in there. What I'm trying to say is this band Nightwish, the symphonic metal, if you want to define them, and old man metal's getting a little sick and tired of the definitions, you know, to slot in the categories, but whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. He thinks there is a place for keyboards in that kind of metal. Thrash metal, definitely not. And you know, old man metal's taking an interest in, in different bands from time to time. I mean, geez, Arch Enemy wasn't around in the 80s. Okay, this week old man metal got in the mail his newly anticipated CD from Luna Mortis called The Absence. Now, old man metal's been waiting for this CD for about a month, and they did not disappoint. So if you have a chance to go get it, you can go to their MySpace site, which is right here. And you can find a link to order it yourself. The president's a little bit busy right now, so he's not going to be able to get Congress to do it for you. So you need to go to the site yourself if you want it and pick it up. And that's another thing that's getting underneath. Right, who the hell is this? Hold on. Hello? Yeah, this is Old Man Metal. What's your problem? What? It is? Oh my god, it's time for Hot Chicks in Metal! And today's Hot Chick in Metal is the chick from Nightwish. No, you're not hearing things or seeing things, and this is not a repeat. I repeat, this is not a repeat. I repeat, this is not a repeat. The chick from Nightwish. You didn't think that band was gonna break up when that chick Taj left and took all her baggage with her, did you? Speaking of her, Old Man Metal wanted to tell you that she has put out a new album, a solo album, called My Winter Storm. Okay, good luck with that. But anyways, back to Nightwish. After Taj was dismissed for not carrying the Nightwish persona correctly, she was replaced by a woman named Annette Olsen. Okay, Old Man Metal really doesn't hang out in Finland too much, so he really doesn't know much about it. He knows where it is, he knows it's probably cold, and he knows they export Finlandia Swiss. So he was surprised to read that this band Nightwish has won many awards. Uh, the Finnish equivalent of the Grammys. So soon after Annette joined the band, the band got all revved up, shot a video in Los Angeles for their song, Bye Bye Beautiful. Remember, fags, if you got a question or a comment on my show, you go to OMM at browntash.com and I'll do my best to answer your emails and reply to your questions any way that I can. So as I always say, kids, if you like a band, buy their CDs. What the hell? It's going to cost you $20. You can probably steal that out of mom and dad's pocket while they're sleeping. So until next time, this is Old Man Metal saying, Thrash hard, you fags! And don't push it! And if you're gonna push it, push your fat ass out of here! That's right, get out of here!